This is Jason Taji again with Farm Mobile. Um, here's our puck device. Our puck is basically, it's almost like a mini computer that you put inside of your equipment. So it could be your tractor, it could be your sprayer, it could be your combine. Um, and this little guy basically is like, almost like a black box, if you will, for the farm equipment. So once we put this into the cab, standard, nine pin Deutsch connector we use to connect to the equipment. It's got an embedded cellular plan in it, so it's ready out of the box to start sending the cellular messages, uh, sending all that data up to a file that we call your electronic farm record. So your electronic farm record is basically a safe with all your data that gets loaded up into it automatically. Um, once that happens and you plug that in, the little cellular radio kicks on in there and we start sending data. So you can go to an iPad or an iPhone and you can start to see things like this. So this is some of your engine diagnostics that are going on right now, I'm going to show you someone running around here in Iowa. And what I can show you here is right now, this is the field that they're working. So you can drill in here and you can see basically where they've gone today. So the blue is basically when we logged in, the red is previous path for today, just where the piece of equipment is gone. So if we want to go back and see kind of how much time he's put in, we can zoom out here and we can see that before he did that field, he kind of did a pass on that one. He went up and he worked this one pretty good. And then we can go over here. You can also see that started right up at the home farm. So we have a bunch of different variables we're collecting across the bottom here. And you can have that set up however you want to, to be able to display. Um, this is kind of like I say it's, it's, the value prop is similar to Microsoft Excel for a farmer. Um, I could use Microsoft Excel, you can use it, and we can have, you know, three other people that use it. But we all use half a percent of the feature set. But it's a useful business tool for all of us. We're learning that as we capture this data and as we store this data and we start to talk to, to users about this data, you know, some can say, I don't care about engine torque. And the next guy we say, say can say, I love engine torque. I want to see heat maps in my engine torque so I can figure out if I should change the direction of my rows because we're in a down commodity cycle and I want to have my equipment last longer. So we're just kind of starting to uncover a bunch of different ways you can use a lot of this data as we, as we get some more and more of these guys out there right now. So it's a tool to show real time uh, fleet management, real time data collection, uh, automatically going up to the cloud and then you can let trusted partners have access to it, you can give it to them, you can have the ability to monetize it. Basically, once we get it into that file, you are in complete control of it. We are nothing more than basically like a, like a safety deposit box, if you will, for that data that you have complete control on where it goes after it gets up there. But you do know that it's not stored on the pad of paper, you know, in your pocket anymore. The planting dates can be in somewhere where you can actually use them. Our whole goal is to make the data much more portable than it is today. Um, we want to make it portable so it can flow wherever it needs to go. So if the data needs to go over here or over here, we can have it go that way. You don't have to worry about having all the same color equipment. You don't have to worry about that kind of closed ecosystem that most of the OEMs are creating today. And a lot of the other you know, players in the market too want to vertically hold on to this data and extract as much profit as they can from you and give you as little bit of value as possible because they're still working for their shareholders. So you know, we're trying to really change change the view of data in agriculture. This video is brought to you by farms.com.